On last week's episode of our Great Barrier Reef trip, we talked about techniques to catch a range of species on the shallow reef flats. Not only is this scenery beautiful, but if you use the correct lures and techniques, the results can be highly rewarding. In this last part 4 video of our trip, we look into the areas and techniques to target the hard fighting giant trevally on a range of topwater lures. I also get a massive surprise when a big blue spot trout eats my popper and finishes off the trip with a bang. I hope you enjoy this action packed episode. Can't see that by there's the bait right there. Yeah, right here. Up in front. Oh, see that? Yeah, yeah. Got the corner there, the pressure edge is right there. Do they come back up when something's pressuring them? Yeah, well they'll sit on these corners, so they won't be on the pressure point back there. Yeah. They're right sitting smack bang. Right. There. I reckon my line will come straight through them. Yep! Oh! Come on! Yep! Yep! Not bad. See the yeah. fusies through there? Smack on them. Greg? No, yeah, you did well. Man. I just didn't want to cut my hands Woo. any more than that. Good on ya. Thanks, mate. There we go. Nice GT. He took the 220 Venom V stick. It's a pretty cool colour, that one. If I've seen a lot of fish coming in, you can see that colour from a mile away when you pull it through the water. It really flashes through it. And uh, we've come to the corner of a reef where the pressure point is on a run out tide right behind us. I was just pointing to it with my rod tip, hopefully that showed up on the camera there. And I saw some fusiliers, first car straight in it, and we're on. Not a big one, still great fun. It's cool when you can pinpoint where they're going to be, and you can nail them straight away. Just going to skip it across the surface and see what happens. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, look at the bait. Here we go. It came up under it. Great car, two o'clock again. Look at the bait up on the flats. Can go hit it? Nah. That, that, oh, GT, look at the size of it. That was a big Jeep. Oh, yeah. Benny. Oh, you Yep. Trap. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Yeah. Nice dark cold, cold trap right on the edge of the reef line. He's hit that. Big 220 mil V stick, Venom V stick. Trying for a GT, just got hit by a, uh, a mackerel. Big Spanish hit it, and ended up pulling the hooks on it. This guy's right near to the current line we got hitting this pressure point here. Let's see what else we can find here. The Great Barrier Reef consists of thousands of individual reef systems that are all different in size and shape. Generally, reefs have a particular area that sees a dominant flow of tidal current that goes over and around them depending on the tide. The reef shape and depth determines how the current flows around them, which also determines where the bait and fish like GTs will congregate. Having a reef with a sharp or pointy like end that faces towards a run in or run out tidal direction is the ideal area as it creates a strong tidal pressure point. This can be easily seen on the water surface as rough or ripply looking water. Close by these pressure points you also get an area that creates an updwelling or low pressure in the water, and this is where the water surface is often flat and smooth looking. 
It's this area that the bait gathers and the GTs and other species find it an ideal time to feed. By fishing the right area at the right part of the dropping or rising tide, you can pinpoint precisely where the GTs will be and often catch them on the first cast instead of putting in hundreds of time wasting casts hoping for the best. Two seconds, I'll just... Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, there's heaps there. First cast on a new reef. Come through, look quite good here. First cast on a big venom V swim. Hooked up. Travelling between reefs, so I've got a bit of wet weather gear on. I'm already boiling hot. Big cat in the background, that, that same reef. Pretty good fish, unless it's hooked in the side. Big massive tail beats. It's caught up in the current. Come on, mate. That's it. P8 venom popping rod. 150 pound leader. 80 pound braid. How much fun are these things? It's crazy. I love it. Pull so hard. Yes, Cade. There we go, nice, beautiful big GT. On the Venom V Swim 190. These things swim unbelievably well. In rough weather, they don't blow out of the water. A beautiful action. And they flutter when you stop the pause. Oh, they go hard, great fun. That is cool. Get the hooks out and let him go. Good stuff, Greg. Off you go, buddy. Yeah! Good stuff, Greg. Oh, let's get another one. That's it, you got him, mate. Hang on to him. Good work, matey. Cheers, Greg. He's coming straight up. That's it. Beautiful. Yes, Cade. Good stuff, Greg. Well done, buddy. Awesome fish. On the Venom Pop. 150. The smaller one, the size one size down at least. He's a nice dark colored one. Beautiful fish. Absolutely smacked that lure. That is awesome. Second cast after my fish. That is cool, dude. Well done. How good. Man. They're such a cool looking fish, aren't they? They're just that oh, they absolutely look. decimate your lures. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, yeah! Oh, he's gonna muck around here. We have to come over a bit later. Sorry, I'm gonna try and get it in as fast as possible. Yeah. I'll put that boat in drive. Yeah. Greg is on again. Third cast. How's he feel, Greg? Not real big at this stage, mate. Oh no, we're in trouble here. Can we reverse that? No. Oh, he's right on the edge of the reef. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, oh, he's, no, oh, no, no. Oh, we're right in the monks of bombies. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, come out. Bang reverse, bang reverse. 
That's it. Keep it going. Yep. Righto. Neutral. Yep. There's a shark on it. Oh, shark everywhere. No. Look at them all. Uh, I'm going to have to drop this one. Oh. No. Oh. Look at them all. No. 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 No, no, no. Don't go down there, mate. Come on. Oh. oh, that is a big jeep. Right. Holy crap! I'm gonna put this on the holder. That looks like a real one, Greg. Get into it. Oh, he's bleeding. I don't know if the lure's that far down. It's gob. It's bleeding from that. Oh no! Not under the boat, buddy. Oh. I'll be done. I think the lure is so far down it's gob. Oh, oh man. Oh. Go away, sharks. Look, big GT there. Oh my god. Oh, he's a donkey. Back this way. Yes! Oh yeah. Hang on, mate, I'll grab it. Hey, you right? Oh, oh yeah! Yes, Greg! Woohoo! Look at that! Yes, Greg! Venom V swim! Down it's gone! <laughs> yeah! Good job! And he didn't get sharked! That is awesome! He, did you see him nibbling at oh, him? Like man, literally their nose right him. on him! Yes! An absolute donkey! Venom V swim! Look at that! Down it's gob! Oh man! Sharks were on him! They were nipping at him. I don't know how I managed to get it away from him. Oh, oh such a powerful fish. Oh, damn. Oh. That's insane. Look at that. Donkey. Yes. Oh, let's get this venom out. Look at Swim that. Swim him. All the way down there. And let him go. Yes. So stoked. Three and three casts. Oh, yes! Oh, What's dude. that? Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> Get ready for it to peel. What is this? Whoa! Back oh, tuna! Look at that! <laughs> Jesus! Well, airstrike Mac tuna. Another one in, go. Oh, yep. Oh. Go again. With another day of fishing done, it was time to head back to Big Cat for a delicious afternoon tea and a few well-deserved beers before our Villains and Heroes theme night started. Villains and Heroes theme night on Big Cat. Oh, well, we 
There's some pretty wild costumes here. I think Nick White takes the cake though. He's gone as Fat Betty, which is one of the colours of many lures that Wilson have brought out. Come and have a look, it's pretty funny. Flash Willie! Flash Willie! It is Nick White. What's going on? This actually suits this bloke. Have a go at him. <laughs> hey? Now here's a middle of overseen one. Hey? Show us the trout, mate. Yeah, that's your Sam. If you change the volume, you've got to go. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's illegal. Nice one, Sammy. Well, they might take out the prize for tonight. Biggest trout. I think you've got it. <laughs> With Dane and myself both wearing the same Iron Man costume that night, and both of us pairing up for a fish in the last afternoon together, it would only seem fitting that I use the Iron Man coloured Venom lures to see what I could catch with them. It's safe to say this colour is now my favourite. All the fusiliers right in the corner here. Oh yeah. Oh, you're going to get smashed, surely. Oh, something on that. Oh, 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 GTs. Lots of them. Pack attack. Woohoohoo! Had to be there. Yep. Beautiful Swains Reef GT. It's not a big one by no means, but geez, they pull hard. We're running PE8 tackle, the Venom, PE8 pop stick, and even on this heavy gear, they still fight very, very hard. They're just a ball of muscle. We're out here testing some of the new duo gear. This is the Fumble 230. This will be being brought out by the Wilson crew in coming months, and I can say I've been fishing it all week, and geez, it's been getting some eats. Rigged with a treble on the center, single on the rear, Really easy to get to swim. You can pop it off the top and then sweep it. Gets a nice wiggle on. It's been whacking some very nice fish this trip. Oh, you're on. Set the hook. It's gonna steer us out because I don't want to spook it. Yeah, we're right in amongst the reef there. We're getting pushed in, so I'll reverse out. There we go, nice little GT. He's not a real big one, this one. Still go bloody hard. He's on the new Venom V-Stick in the Iron Man colour. This particular colour's been actually slaying fish. I think it's just that really bright, chromey, reflective look. They're seeing, the, uh, seeing them a long way away. Yeah, just go across for a surface strike. Oh, that's a bus. Yeah, that's a big fish. This is why sometimes it pays to not just stop at the first place you pull up on the reef. We went for a bit of a look, we stopped at the first place, there wasn't enough tide, there was no bait, wasn't really enough pressure to, to hold these fish, so we went for a drive, found this next pressure edge and it just looks perfect. We've got fusies on the, on the corner there, we got souries, we got current, 
and we found GTs. Yeah. How good is that? That's pretty well. Three from three casts. Yeah. Let's see if we can go four from four, Greg. Bloody oath. I think there's plenty more here. Definitely. On the duo. Duo fumble 230. Getting the strike again. It's such a versatile lure. This time, instead of popping it and sweeping it under the surface, I was just rod tip up and just skipping it across the surface, slightly winding as I twitch the rod tip, and this thing just come up and absolutely obliviated it. How cool. They're just the coolest looking fish, uh, I reckon. They look mean. They look mean, they fight mean, they're tough. <sighs> so, we've got this perfect pressure point here. Water's flowing past it. There's fusiliers all through here, which you'll probably see the ripple on the water. There's GTs all through it. Yeah. We're going to be on here. Yeah, Big Venom nice. V pop. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, one on it. He's on it. He's on it. Yes. Fish on, I repeat, fish on. I'll just back us out, Greg. Cast, I reckon we should go for a double. It's a black one, I think. Oh, it's a trout! Oh. It's a horse trout! Holy It's a dino! Uh, yes! On, quick. quick, just in case it pulls out. Oh, I think it's only just in it. Quick! Yes! Hang on, hang on. Move, move. Oh yeah! Gregory! Woohoo! Look at that! On the popper! V pop, what is it, the 190? 190 V pop, Iron Man for the win. <laughs> no way! That is so cool. Yeah! That is awesome. Look at it. That is a proper dino trout. How good! How mean he is. Oh, Mate, he come out of deep water he for did. that. And smashed Literally. It. That's incredible. Oh yeah. Stop it! Oh, Greg has taken out the trout. Greg has taken out the trout. This is what happens when you put two iron men in the same boat. They fish iron man hoppers <laughs> and they catch iron man fish. Yes! Massive dino trout, big blue spot trout, crunched the V pop venom lure in Iron Man. How good! I'm absolutely ecstatic with that. That is cool. Been chasing one of these big fellas for a long time to get it on a popper. That is epic. Our last afternoon before we head home, and that happens. I can't believe it. How cool! Yeah. Let's get these hooks out, swim him, set him on his way. <laughs> yeah! Other boys are over here. This is insane. Oh, look at them all, Greg. Greg, that's gonna look sick. Dude, look at them. We're in the Fusey School. Look at them all. Look at this. This is insane. No way. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, 
Has he been caught before? <laughs> I'm sure that has been caught before. Look at it. Looks like old hook marks, doesn't it? That is so good. Good work, buddy. That is oh, mate. This is epic. This is why we do it. Day six, the last afternoon here on the reef. We've had we've had an up and down trip, and Greg and I said we're going to go out with a bang. We're just going to take the big gear, hunt GTs and whatever else wants to eat, big poppers and stick baits. And we found a pressure edge with more fuses than we've seen for the last five days. Sourie's jumping, shark mackies getting airborne and catching quality fish like this. It's now four GT from four casts and a massive dino trout. And in the background, we got Dicko and Cord. And I think the Cappy's boys are on, the on. The boys are on. This is unreal. Everyone's just having such a good time. This is the moment you live for as a fisherman. Oh, mate. This is why we do it. And this is why you book on charters like Big Cat Reality Fishing Charters. They get you into destinations like this so you can put yourself in the situation to catch these lovely fish. Let's get the hooks out and get him go. That's smack bang in them. Oh, yeah. oh. They're on it. Yep. Oh. Here he comes. <laughs> After a great afternoon's fishing and totally worn out from a massive six days of fishing, we made our way back to the mothership where the crew begin to load all the boats back onto Big Cat ready for our 24 hour steam back home. I hope everyone enjoyed this four part series of our trip and a massive thank you to Wilson for the invitation and letting us use a phenomenal amount of quality tackle that was brought along. If you'd like to see the video of me taking my very own 7 metre trailer boat out to the Swains and Shellwater Bay area then it's available for download or on USB at wickedfishing.com.au. The Red Emperor Nanny Guy and Trout Fishing was exceptional and the underwater footage of these fish in their natural environment is some of the best you'll see. Until next time, tight lines.